What is up? What is up? What's up? I don't need that. I'm just parked. I'll just let you know I'm parked. I don't ever drive and do this Facebook thing. What's up? What's up, Facebook friend? I love you. 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 I love me too. I love me. 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 Love me. All right. I just want to share with you today. I'm putting it out there to you as my friend, uh, to the universe. I'm going to speak it out loud. Is that this is my year, darling? This is my year. This is my year to land the handstand. So I have this tendency, and I just want to ask you, um, you know, are you at all looking at your body and what you're doing with your body and, and how that's related to your life? What's up, Les Sparks? Namaste, my friend. Hope you're doing well. So I'm, I'm talking today about my handstand, but really it's like, you know, uh, it's a goal that I'm setting with my body that I'm so close. Are you like ever so close to a goal and you wish you could reach it? And what I realize is that my my beautiful, beautiful teacher, Allison Moore, so if you don't know Allison Moore, a Bowspring teacher, she's like one of the best teachers in the world. She's amazing. She's uh, teaching, has this space over here in Denver called Soul Movement. And there's a beautiful space, Bowspring practice, and I've been uh, back in the studio practicing and I feel amazing. And she asked me, Allison asked me the other day, she's like, what do you want? What do you, like, what do you want? And I was like, oh, you know, maybe I'll need some help and, you know, with my, po you know, opening up some more and some of the postures. And then I was really, uh, at the end of my practice today, so do you ever, like, get to that point where, well, first of all, if you need some help getting still and have, being more mindful, send me a little message, I'll give you some ideas, okay? But today in my Shavasana, in the assimilation, at the end of practice, I had this realization of really really want is I really want to stick my handstand I'm like there and but not it's not always there it's it's like sometimes I'm there and sometimes I'm not and I'm gonna ask you like are you sometimes like showing up and sometimes not or sh sometimes successful and sometimes not and what I realize is that I can use my body as a direct tool it sounds so valley girl but it's true I can use my body as a direct tool to get what I want in life. Boom. <laughs> so if you want help, do you, you know, getting more in life, if you want help with your business, if you want help with your, you know, just the expansion, manifesting more abundance, you know, creating the career you want, whatever it is, use your body as a tool. It's telling you everything. What's up, Laura? You get this, baby. I know you, I know you get this. Love and hugs. So I'm talking today that I really want to nail my handstand. And it's, it's like, I know, and there's really um, a deeper desire in my business that I want, uh, something that I want to make happen. And I know that when I commit to this more detailed, nuanced stuff in my body with my handstand, because I'm so close, that the detailed, nuanced stuff will reveal itself everywhere. In my business, in my relationships, everywhere. So I want to ask you, what goal are you going for? Like, are you wanting to lose weight? Are you wanting to get stronger, more flexible? Are you wanting to get into, like, um, you know, do a hike or stand up paddle boarding? Or, hey, Christy, so good to see you, baby. Namaste, friend. Sending you love, love, love. So I want to nail my handstand this year, and I'm really just utilizing it as a, you know, first of all, I love it. It's so fun, of course, for me. But I'm really utilizing it as it is as something to look towards and go. And, and, and master and I'm really at the point of mastering this you know work I don't know if you ever master anything just to be real but we'll call it mastery mastery of this like bow spring handstand where I can get in it predictably and I can move around with fluidity and ease and all of that so what's on my oh that's the light that's so pretty uh, so uh, I'm gonna use this as a way to start to really refine my life everywhere everywhere relationships my home all right, my business. So if you need help connecting your body and your business, if you are like, my business is not succeeding as much as I want because I'm not taking care of my body. Most entrepreneurs don't take care of their body. Like, I get it. Most people don't take care of their body. And your body is directly, you know, related to all of it. It's like the, the thing you live in. And this is the thing I live in. So I'm like, what if I can twist myself upside down, inside out, all the way around? What if I can go upside down predictably? How is that going to impact my life? Well, what, here's what I believe it's going to do. And I've seen it in myself already. So just going to take me to the next level. If you want success in life, <laughs> so remember this, if you really want success, 
uh, my, my coach, my business coach, Linda Catacoy taught me this. You have to be okay with being confused. You have to get comfortable with confusion. And going upside down, going towards upside down is confusing. It's like, where am I? What, what's go- where on earth am I? What's going on? And so I'm practicing confusion, practicing getting comfortable, practicing being present, practicing being fully embodied through confusion, through the unknown, through the upside down, through the different planes in life. And there's a lot of power there. So if you want help, let me know. I'll help you. You know, I can teach you business strategy, how to make more money and sales and marketing and how to create packages and prices that sell in the market and have messaging that works and all of that. And the one difference between me and most of the other business coaches, I don't know anybody else doing this, but there's probably somebody, but I don't know them, is connecting your body, connecting your body to what's going on in your life, in your business, everything. You can have more success if you want it. All right, so I'm using my handstand as a tool to, uh, to up-level my life. What are you using this year? Let me know. I'd love to hear. I love you guys. See ya, see ya, see ya. Stay radiant, keep breathing, and if you want a tip to uh, breathe, here's a little tip a Breathe wide. Breathe wide like your rib cages fish, or fish gills. Breathe wide. Keep breathing wide. Live more wide, not tall, live more wide. See how it feels, let me know. Send me a message.